What's up squad, my name is ESO and welcome to the video guide where I'll be showing you how to do a secret glitch to get the unique quantum power armor early on in the Nuka-Cola DLC. And this glitch is really easy to do and you can do it as soon as you get to the Nuka World DLC. Usually, to get this armor, you need to collect all 35 star cores. But by using this method, you don't. So the quantum armor itself is the best armor in the game. An upgraded set of X01 power armor, which also has a unique legendary effect that will work once you're wearing the whole set. And what it does is it makes your action points regenerate faster. So it's really good for those of you who like to use that. And especially if you like to jetpack everywhere. So what we're going to do is this. First we're going to come here on the map to the Galactic Zone, which you're going to find northwest from Nuka Town, just here on the map. Once you are here, you'll see a giant space-like structure in the center of the area. So just come to the foot of that, because that's where we're going to find the quantum armor. And I just think the paint scheme on this armor, which is kind of like an electric blue, which is faded into a dark color, just looks insane. But once you get to the foot of this building, you can open this glass door, and as we can see, the unique power armor is currently trapped within this glass box. So what we're going to do in order to cheat our way around this is to grab our own suit of power armor. And you will need your own suit of power armor in order to do this method. And as you can see, I've brought along the Nuka-Cola armor, another unique legendary set that you can add to your collection. And I'll leave a link below in the description on how you can get that yourself. So get inside your power armor and this is what you must do. Just listen very carefully because it can be quite confusing. Stand next to the stairs just here, look down and aim here. Go into third person and now while holding aim, also hold down the exit power armor button. And as you do this, quickly spin around 180 degrees so you're facing the opposite way. You will now exit your power armor and go through the wall as you exit. So now we're on the inside of this glass box where we can collect the Nuka Quantum Power Armor set. And I'll show you how to do that again in slow motion later but please do give the video a thumbs up if it did help you out. And some of you may now be wondering, well ESO, I've got this power armor, but how on earth do I get out of this fish tank? Well, luckily, since this armor is located outdoors, we can actually just fast travel to any location nearby. And then we'll be outside with our new Nuka-Cola quantum power armor. And you can just go back anytime you like and pick up the other set of power armor that we used in order to get in the glass box. So just to show you this once more in slow motion now, so we can go through the stages. So make sure you're standing in the right place, and then look at the glass, and go into first person. Face the glass tank just here and aim down at the floor in front of you like I am in the video. Now go into third person, and while still holding your aim and still looking downwards, you must hold the exit power armor button. So just spin quickly around 180 degrees, so you're facing the opposite direction and you'll trick the game into thinking that you can actually exit your power armor here, and this will send you through the wall. And there you go, easy. Well, it's not that easy, it did take several attempts for me myself to do it, but it's pretty straightforward once you get the hang of it. So now let's talk about the incredible armor we just got, and then I'll tell you about how we can upgrade it with the best modifications to get the most out of it. The armor itself is not fully upgraded, so the first thing we need to do is upgrade each piece of armor from V to IV. This will add an additional 20 energy and physical damage resistance to each piece of armor. So once you're finished, your power armor will now have a total damage resistance of 1820 physical resistance, which just makes you unkillable, and it will also have 1390 energy resistance. And finally, it will have 1050 radiation resistance which just makes it the best power armor you can obtain in the game. So now let me tell you the best mods to use with this power armor set. So first up, for the helmet modification, I suggest using the VATS Matrix Overlay. This is going to give you an increased chance to hit in VATS, and that works really well with our faster action point regeneration we get from the legendary effect of this armor. Unless you're playing a melee character, in which case this is going to be useless to you. So instead, I would just grab the targeting hub, which works really effectively in sneak builds, especially at night time. So the most important part of this whole armor set is the headlamp. On the X01 power suit, 
the eyes actually light up and it looks awesome. So basically we get to choose which color eyes we have. And I'd suggest either red or purple as it complements the blue really well. Next up guys, let's sort out the arms. The only modification you're going to get here is for melee characters. So if you liked unarmed combat, you should get the unique Tesla braces. These are the best possible unarmed upgrade that you can get. They make your fists do energy shocking damage, which just looks cool as well. Or alternatively, we can get the optimized braces. So if you're using a melee weapon, what this does is reduce the AP cost of your power attacks, which is just so key. And if you guys haven't already watched my melee weapon build guide that shows you how to get over 40,000 damage in close combat, make sure you go and check that out. I'll leave a link to it in the description down below because that works really well with this power armor. So make sure you do that for both arms. Next up guys, let's mod our legs. This is a really easy decision here. Just go for the optimized servos. This basically increases our action point refresh speed while moving. And again, this synergizes really well with the legendary effect on this armor. Your action point regeneration is going to be insane. So make sure you do this on both legs. And lastly, let's talk about the torso. There are many good mods here and it's mostly down to personal preference. But the kinetic dynamo is an interesting option. It makes it so when you take damage, your action points recharge. And that's the best one to go for if you want to maximize your action points. But personally, I'll be getting the jetpack because having more action points means we get to fly around more. So that's a win. And there you have it guys, your very own awesome looking Nuka-Cola quantum power armor is fit to take over the world. And it can probably do it by itself. Anyway guys, if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up to show your appreciation. And if you also want to collect the rest of the Nuka World swag, make sure you check out the other unique items down below in the description, like the Nuka World spacesuit. And you can also stay up to date with this channel by subscribing and following me on Facebook, Twitter and even Instagram to stay up to date with all the projects that I'm working on and my daily Fallout 4 video guides. Because if you didn't know, this channel is all about Fallout and Skyrim. Thanks again for watching guys, my name is ESO and I will see you, loyal subscriber, in the next Fallout 4 video guide. Have a fantastic day and goodbye.